Good afternoon, Jets Nation. Welcome to the Ju Jets Show. And the New York Jets have officially released their 53 man roster. So let's go ahead and talk about who made it. Starting off on the offensive side of things, three QBs made it Zach Wilson, Joe Flacco, and Mike White. Not a lot of surprises here. Yes, Chris Traveler had an amazing preseason, but as I said in yesterday's video, he didn't really have a whole lot of team reps during the offseason and only really got him because Zach Wilson got hurt. And the Jets think Mike White is more of a complete quarterback. And of course, he threw for 400 yards last season. At running back, Michael Carter, Brees Hall, Zonovan Knight, and Ty Johnson all made it. Yes, Kevin Coleman, the veteran running back, got cut. Definitely one of the most surprising cuts. I mean, dude is so fast. I just thought the New York Jets wanted to have that veteran presence in there. But nope, they kicked him to the curve. Zonovan Knight, really happy he made it. Didn't predict him making it, but glad he did. Had a lot of faith in him this entire offseason. This was my dude. And I honestly think he made it because of his kick returning ability. He is a very tough runner. And maybe the New York Jets wanted a guy like him in the room. But he's a really good kick returner. Had a nice, had a lot of nice kick returns during the preseason. So I feel like that's definitely big reasons why he made it. And Ty Johnson, he is a pretty solid receiving back. So I guess that's why he made it. But definitely would have felt comfortable with Tevin Coleman on the roster than Ty Johnson. But that's that. Wide receiver six man. Elijah Moore, Corey Davis, Braxton Berrios, Garrett Wilson, Jeff Smith, and Denzel Mims. Not a lot of surprises right there. Tight end four made it. CJ Uzama, Tyler Conklin, Jeremy Ruckert, and Lawrence Cager. Some people were surprised that Lawrence Cager made the roster instead of Trevon Wesco because Wesco's a really good blocking tight end. But we have Jeremy Ruckert now. Ruckert was an excellent blocking tight end in college. So I definitely feel like that's why we release Wesco and Cager can provide more to us in the receiving game if we want this offensive score as many points as possible, get as many yards as possible. A guy like Cager who had a phenomenal offseason season definitely should have deserved to be on the roster and he did on offensive tackle three made it Dwayne Brown George Fan and Max Mitchell we did cut our two experienced backup tackles Chuma Doga and Connor McDermott because the New York Jets have a ton of faith in Max Mitchell they felt like he's developed really well he's come along really far in the process and they feel comfortable with him as our lone backup tackle and interior the offensive line Lincoln Tomlinson Elijah Bear Tucker Connor McGovern Nate Feeney <laughs> Dan Feeney and Nate Herbig made the roster not a lot of surprises there either interior defensive line five made it Quentin Williams, John Frank Lamar, Sheldon Rankin, Solomon Thomas, and Nathan Shepard. I thought Jonathan Marshall was going to make it over Shepard just because he was younger and had more upside. And Shepard's been on this team for like four seasons, hasn't really proven anything, and is a penalty machine. Definitely was, you know, confused as to why he made it. But I mean, I guess the New York Jets felt comfortable with his veteran presence. And I mean, while Jonathan Marshall had that good preseason game against the Falcons, he's overall had a pretty solid off season, so I guess the New York Jets just wanted to go with the more younger guy and Nathan Shepard. At edge six made it, Carl Lawson, Jermaine Johnson, Jacob Martin, Bryce Self, Michael Clemens, and Vinny Curry. Um, don't really feel like there's a lot of surprises in this room. I did have the New York Jets cutting Vinny Curry, but I guess they just wanted his veteran presence in the room, and that edge room that the Jets have is just so deep. At linebacker four made it, CJ Mosley, Quincy Williams, Quan Alexander, and Jamie and Sherwood. Not a lot of surprises there either. I mean, has Renazzo Dean just had a not good offseason at all? It was really bad. And I mean, Jamie and Sherwood, I mean, look really good in preseason. We don't really know what we have in him because his tour is Achilles last season. So really excited about this linebacker room. Cornerback six made it. Sauce Gardner, DJ Reed, Michael Carter, the second, Bryce Hall, Brandon Eccles, and Justin Hardy. Not a lot of surprises in there either. Although I was surprised that we did release Javelin Gildry. I mean, dude was a solid backup for us for the past two years, but I guess the New York Jets felt comfortable with the backup room we have. And I mean, look, we do have Bryce Hall and Brandon Eccles in the cornerback room, two player super starters for us last season. DJ Reed has been dealing with a hamstring injury, but other than that, we really don't have a lot of injury prone guys in our cornerback room. Safety, Jordan Whitehead, LaMarcus Joyner, Ashton Davis, and Tony Adams made it. 
Definitely the most surprising position group as for who made the roster. I mean, Tony Adams, the undrafted free agent Tony Adams, who honestly had a quiet offseason but really shined in the preseason, actually tweeted about it like two days ago. Tony Adams has been having a nice preseason, and he was making a lot of good stops in all the Jets games, and I guess that impressed the Jets enough to give him a spot on the roster. I mean, he's a very versatile defensive back. He played both safety and cornerback at Illinois, so I guess the New York Jets really like like his versatility but Ashton Davis honestly I don't feel like deserved to be on this roster at all he can't tackle a guy like Will Parks can tackle better than him a Jason Panak can tackle better than him I mean the Jets want Jason Panak back on their practice squad but someone with his talent probably is going to be picked up on the waiver wire just definitely disappointed to see the New York Jets put Ashton Davis on the roster Shallow said there was a lot of fighting behind the scenes for you know the players that we cut and I definitely feel like the New York Jets defensive coaches were fighting about putting Ash and Davis on the roster ahead of guys like Will Parks and Jason Pinnock who definitely deserved it a lot more but the three special teamers that made the roster were Greg Zerline, Brandon Mann, Braden Mann, and Thomas Hennessy so that was the New York Jets 53 man roster. So let's go ahead and talk about the 27 players that got cut. So for the cornerbacks, Javelin Goji with Chad Wad, Goose, and Isaiah Dunn were all at loose. For defensive linemen, Tanzel Smart, Bradley and Nye, Jabbar Zuniga, and Jonathan Marshall all got kicked to the curb. For linebackers, Marcel Harris, Delshawn Phillips, Hasman Azardine, and DQ Thomas all got released. For offensive linemen, Connor McDermott, Ross Piercebacker, Grant Hermans, Chris Graysler, and Shuma Doga all got released. For the one quarterback that got released, it was Chris Strevler. The two running backs that got cut were Tevin Coleman and LaMichael P. Ryan. Will Parks and Jason Pinnock were the two safeties that got released. And the two tight ends that got released were Trevon Wesco and Kenny Yaboa. And the three wide receivers that got kicked to the curb were Tariq Black, Irvin Charles, and Calvin Jackson. So that's the New York Jets 53-man roster and the 27 players that got cut. Definitely a lot of surprises within the cuts and the players who made the roster. What are you guys' overall thoughts on the New York Jets 53? Comment it down below. And I'm your host, Jets, signing off for now. See you guys later. Peace.